Hello, I'm Charles Alcock. I'm an astronomer. I'm the director of the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, which among other things proves that you can take two radically different organizations, the Smithsonian and Harvard, and have them work together. <laughs> but I'm glad to follow uh, my previous speaker and, and start out with a number of questions. And they're, they're, these are questions that have been with us for generations. Why is there any life in the universe at all? It didn't have to be. What was necessary to make life possible on our Earth, around us? Are those conditions present on other planets, perhaps some nearby planets, orbiting other stars? If those conditions are present, is there life on some of those, planet, on some of those planets? Are we really alone or not? And finally, how can we tell? And how can we tell is the question that divides this from speculation, um, a certain degree of spirituality and curiosity, and real science. Science is about what we can actually answer. And the, the, what's remarkable about this moment in time is that telescopes we're designing now, telescopes we aspire to build, will actually bring us close to and maybe even to answering these questions. This is a special moment in history. In the lifetimes of most of the people in this room, we will have provisional answers, at least, for, the, for, for planets nearby as to whether they look promising for life or not. This is a dramatic change in our attitude to the cosmos and our attitude to life. So that's the big idea I want to um, mention to you. It's not my idea. It's, it's widely held. But this is a storm the barricades time. This is a time when it's really worth investing in astronomy in particular, because there's no more remarkable question, it seems to me, than something that would help us understand, is life unusual or common? Is there life nearby? Thank you.